So if you're a Google Ads manager, you've probably tried to create SCAGs before, and you've probably wasted a bunch of time trying to create them. So we set up a system called Aori to help automize the whole SCAG creation process, and we're going to show you how it works today. Aori uses lists, which we call banks, to multiply two or more combinations of banks together to create all the different combinations of keywords. To get started, you want to give your keyword bank a name, which is themed along the type of keywords that you put inside it. So for this first one, we'll go with colors. Then we click add bank. For this next one, we'll call footwear. Now, at the bottom of each bank, you'll see two options, essential and additional. Essential words are words that are included in every keyword that is produced, and they can also be a keyword on their own. Additional keywords are only words that are used in combination with other words, and they can't be a keyword on their own. So for example, uh, you would never have yellow as its own keyword. Instead, you would add yellow with an essential word, like shoes. So yellow shoes, yellow socks, purple sneakers, purple shoes, and so forth. So in this example, colors will be additional, and footwear will be essential. Now if you go over here to the Add Group Preview, you can see all the different combinations of keywords that were produced and also the impression data, CTR, and CPC data for each different keyword. So as you can see, 15 different combinations were produced. Um, but if you don't like a certain keyword, all you can do is click on this X, and it'll take it out. And if you like it and want to put it back in, you click on the arrow. And if you go up here to the word order planner, uh, you can manipulate the order of the words in the keywords. So if you drag footwear to the front, then you can see that uh, the all the words that were in the footwear bank are now going to appear first. So you have sneakers green instead of green sneakers. You can move it back if you like the original order. Now. Aori also has something called categories. The underlying logic to categories is that there are times when users need to have separate categories of keywords within a single campaign. With categories, users can create lists of keywords that are only multiplied with one another. So if you want to add category, you just click it right here, and this one will call t-shirts. And as you can see, the first category that you created became the default category. You can give that one a name too. Uh, we'll call that one shoes. And now in the second category, you essentially just repeat the process that you did with the first category. So we'll go with colors. Make these additional. Add a bank, shirts, make these essential. And now when you go to add group preview, you can see there are 12 combinations and you can see all the uh, different combinations of keywords that Aori created for this second category. And if you collapse this category, uh, you can see both categories here. And if you go to the Add Group Preview, you can see all the combinations of keywords that were created. So it includes both of the keywords in the first category, shoes, as well as the keywords in the second category related to t-shirts. Now, lastly, it's really important to note that behind the scenes, Aori prevents keywords from conflicting with one another by automatically creating negative keywords 
for any closely related ad groups. You'll be able to inspect this at the final review step. So that's the end of step one, the keyword builder. Next, we move on to step two, the ad builder. If you want to learn more, you can just click on the link below and learn more about how to build SCAGs in Aori.